<laughs> so, name's Crud. I know what you're thinking. What kind of a cruddy name is Crud? I like it, though. Keeps me humble. Nice to meet you, Crud. What you doing in the, there in the dirt? Chilling. Nice. <laughs> Good talk. Hey, Jack. Ah, uh, I see you three have become a part of your four. You know my friends? I like to think we're good acquaintances. Maybe I even taught them a thing or two. But it's all in a day's work for this wandering gunman. Need something else? It's, he's literally McCassidy. <laughs> I didn't expect to see any other beast folk this far out. What are you doing out here? I'm glad you asked, Pally. Like I said, the name's Jack. I'm the hero of the heat. Born protector of the living who venture out here. What do you do? Got any cool stories? Uh... Mm. Mm. Remind folks to stay hydrated. It's hotter in Hades out here. For real. <laughs> oh, but guys, we gotta go. We gotta drink a little hotter. Go on, right, take a sip, ladies. It's mighty refreshing. Sure thing. Hold on, something else. This one is pretty crispy. Anyway, not to be rude, but what's with the costume? <laughs> it's a good thing you said not to be rude, because otherwise I'd take offense to that, miss. This is the uniform of a desperado with no laws or obligations holding him back. Like an adventurer. I'm pretty sure we have lots of laws holding us back, actually. Ha! Adventurer, huh? I like the sound of that. But no, you may discover that I am unemployed. Uh. Hey, adventurers drop some valuables when they get roughed up by the baddies out here. Someone's got to pick them up. It's a living, you know. Isn't it hot wearing such a big cape? In this weather? These are my weight. Besides, never underestimate a good weighty cloak to give you shade and keep you from getting heat stroke. True. This hat of mine keeps me fresh as a spring breeze, even in the blistering summer sun. I'm pretty sure that's because you enchanted it, Claire. That's your point. That's the money. Don't want to do something foolish like wearing anything metal in heat like this. I'm right here. Need something else? <laughs> Any advice for desert exploration? Oh, yeah, you seem quite comfortable here. It's surprising for a town with so few living residents, but they actually stock up on good drink and victuals for your travels here at Mumford. I definitely recommend stocking up before you head back out. What did you just call food a second ago? Never heard the word victuals, eh, Speedy? It's lingo out here on the trail. Doesn't look like it, but it rhymes with lip. Every day is a school day. Need something else? Ooh. Adios. <laughs> See ya. Yo, it's Daft Punk. <laughs> it was Daft Punk. I refer to as Doc. <laughs> Are you in need of healing? <laughs> it's fucking Daft Punk. No, we got your version wrong. Around the world. Around the world. <laughs> oh, wow. It's nice to meet a fellow healer. Uh, my apologies. It would appear you are still alive in traditional sense. My magic word to, uh, would be of no use for you. My abilities are more necromantic in nature. Ah, as you can imagine, this is quite the useful set of skills to have in a town populated by the undead. Different people have different needs, I suppose. Precisely. A necromancer is just a healer. That's just working, you know, a little later than most. It, it, uh, Necromancer is literally a healer in reverse. <laughs> he, j he just works the midnight shift. <laughs> he just works the midnight shift. Got a cold? <laughs> Let me fix it. Is Bring that a gardening bot with a flower hat on? That's cute as hell. <laughs> His oh. name is Florent. Oh, oh um, um, hello. Oh. You must be the travelers I've been hearing about. Wait I'm a minute. Florence. Florence got a third leg. Yeah, you know, Yo, Florence got a third leg, bro. Don't, don't worry about it. Stop. Don't don't comment on oh, that, please. This is Mumford's Community Garden. This is just my kickstand. <laughs> it's hard to make actual plants grow here, you see. Do you think Florence first has a good tripod for like photos and <laughs> selfie sticks or stuff? I'm so sad. So, to liven up the scenery a bit, I started making plants out of scrap metal. Wow. I have a question for you then, KJ. What's up? Why is the tip white when the other two legs are black? Yeah. It's you just- can't. It's just behind huh? the- It's behind the, the box, I promise. <laughs> please. 
No. Ah, I... Jody, don't say those things to me. No. <laughs> so uncool. <laughs> I need you to walk behind Florence and start a conversation just to see if she turns around. <laughs> uh, wow. So, are all of the palm trees and cacti we've seen your work as well? They are. They really enhance the atmosphere, I think. Actually, all the cacti out in the desert are a part of a big sensory array Ipsy set up to keep an eye on things. In exchange for helping her with that, she gives me a lot of scrap metal for my personal projects here. Sorry. <laughs> Very cool. Well, well, we'll let you get back to that. First okay. of all, it's not a tripod, it's a watering can. No, she doesn't look behind me. So, Around the world. It's, it's canon. I'm gonna slowly walk to the next destination, don't mind me. Hello there. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Fana. And y'all must be the heroes I've heard so much about. That's us. Are y'all enjoying your stay in our humble little town? Oh yes, it's lovely here. We really appreciate having a cozy place to rest on our mission. Wonderful. We don't have much in ways of amen amenities, but we're proud of what we have here. If y'all have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer. I'm sort of the one woman welcome wagon around these parts. So, got anything you want to ask? Where the fuck are we? Let's see a wasteland. It's a floating lar land mass hovering way above the ocean a few miles from the Sapphire Islands. Ah, so we didn't travel that far from home after all. We're from Green Ridge. That still leaves a lot of questions though. How come we've never actually seen this place floating in the sky before? And why can't we see the ocean below us? For whatever reason, the wasteland is hidden within the field of magical energy. That's the green sparkly stuff you see in the sky. It makes us invisible from the outside and most pilots tend to steer clear to avoid electrical interference. Of course, some folks know here, here now, so we get curious adventures like yourselves visiting from time to time. I heard this explanation yesterday and I'm still not sure I completely get it. I don't have to think too hard about it. So, got anything you want to ask? You don't have to answer this if I'm being too nosy, but you're all undead, right? Yes, ma'am. I had I no idea it was possible to bring people back from the dead. Where did you guys come from? I'm afraid I'm not sure myself. Actually, none of us are. We all just got woken up one day and found ourselves here in the wasteland. Can't recall anything about our first lives. Interesting. Sounds like there are a lot more mysteries afoot here than we thought. We knew we needed this place to stay, though, so we got together and built Muffer out of available junk. The rest is history. So, uh, what's with the cowboy thing? Huh? Oh, it's just entertaining. I can drop the ice in if you want. It's totally fake. <laughs> Oh, by all means, you do you. Thank you kindly. I take it you're all big fans of westerns? Oh, we hate most of them, actually. Oh. But we found a big stash of cowboy movies in the rooms for some reason. After a bunch of movie nights stuck watching cowboys, we thought it'd be fully replicated. I mean, we got the perfect location for it. And if the shoe fits, well, hell. <laughs> so it started out as ironic? I suppose you could put it like that. Thing is, you can only do something ironically for so long because it becomes genuine. So, here we are. So that's the more it's a roleplay than others. Yeah, I don't see how this mummy thing fits in thematically. Now, yeah, let's do our own thing. Actually, we thought about trying different themes. Maybe put it up for a vote. Not like we've got much better to do. Ooh, a sci-fi theme would be fun. You do have a lot of robot friends around here. That's what I thought, but the robot said it was too on the nose. Okay. What exactly is the purpose of all the machinery up here? It's everywhere and all of it seems so advanced. No clue. All this stuff was here before us. It was all po seems positively ancient. Could have been here for decades or centuries. Heck, maybe all this stuff is pre Fortuna. You really think this might be all over a thousand years old? Fuck if I know. Well, not all of it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Are the robots and that stuff all over the canyon walls? Who knows? We all got our own personal theories of what machines do, though. My theory is it was a big strip mining operation designed to extract everything of value from this hunk of floating land. Some of my neighbors have more fanciful theories, though. Maybe you can ask them. I think that'll be all for now. Thanks for the info, though. A friend? I had so much fun doing that voice. <laughs> <laughs> I love that for you. Oh, shit. Practice, this lady! <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Howdy, welcome to the Mumford Inn. I'm Santa, I'll be your host here. Hello. How much will two rooms run us? Oh, they actually don't take money here, Melody. They don't? Not much use for us here, not really. We take payment in flesh. 
Uh, the vendors oh. outside only need gold so they can be stopped for travelers such as yourself. So instead of paying in gold, it's just like y'all to share a story for your adventures on the surface. I only get to head down there often, you see. And you often adventures types like yourself for such entertaining ta tales to tell. How generous of you. Oh well, we got to share a story? Yes, indeed. Although our other guest today would be a tough act to follow. Other guest? Who would that be? Oh, you haven't heard? Well, I'm up for the savior happens to be back in town. You're <laughs> Jody. <laughs> Your savior, no. Wait, are you talking oh about God, Jody? You chose an option? I mean, I've helped out around here, but I can't imagine I've done as much as a savior person. Oh no, Jody here's been a big help lately. But Bumper simply won't exist if it for our savior. Suppose you haven't heard the story yet. Birds don't really do her justice, though. You should meet her yourselves. Well, but I'm sure you have some amazing stories to tell, too. Just make yourselves comfortable in the lounge over to the right when you're ready. Oh. All right. Well... This place sure is cozy. Wait, is, is that- Is that fucking Allison's mom? Huh? Oh my god. What? Fuck you. I'm out. <laughs> I, I, I can't do this. Like, wait, if we can save, because, you know, V needs to be here for this one. <laughs> I can't do this justice. I'm out. Fuck this shit. Allison? Damn. Aw. What are you doing all the way out here? I was heading back to Greenridge after finishing up my last job. Figured I'd check on things on my way here. Never thought I'd run into you in a place like this. You really are a hotshot adventurer now, huh? Uh, yeah, something like that. Hi, Miss Goletta. Melody. Work's been keeping me away from Greenridge lately, so I think this is the first time we've spoken face to face since I heard the big news. You keeping my baby girl out of trouble? Nope. <laughs> nope. 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 I mean, if I was... We wouldn't be up here in the first place, now would we? <laughs> good point. Well, I couldn't be happier for the two of you. Oh, am I hearing that right? Are we lucky enough to have the Muffer Savior and her daughter with us here today? Wait, you're the Savior just talked about? Yeah, something like that. I was just in the right place at the right time. It's all ancient history at this point. I'm as always, Amelia. Anyways, make yourselves at home. We'll begin shortly. So I freed the hostage. We're running down the corridors, dodging ice bullets until we round the corner and see a door to the garage. We lock the door behind us before the Duke's goons can catch us, but that only buys us maybe a minute or two. They'll bust it down in no time. And that's when I see our ticket out of there, the boss's prized muscle car. You did. Oh, I did. <laughs> so I duck into the driver's side, start racking my brain to remember how to hotwire a car. You've got a very interesting skill set, Miss Galetta. I try to be a jack of all trades. And a jacker of cars. <laughs> oh, ah, yes, I guess. Oh, wait. <laughs> that means she's a jackrabbit. Uh, sure am. Oh! You know, you know, when a skill's gonna come in handy on a mission. <laughs> Zeus, the... are you good? <laughs> <laughs> Zeus is the being eternally in it. <laughs> 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 anyway, I just barely lies. managed to get the car started, and we take off okay. right as the goons breach the door. And with that, we're home free. So that was my Monday. <laughs> Wait, we've seen that car. Oh Wait, my god. I think we've seen that yeah, car. Yeah, was was that the car we saw parked at the docks on our way here? That <laughs> was too bad. I may have kept it as a little reward for my troubles. <laughs> Figured that creep owed me after blowing up my previous ride. Hey, that's a pretty huge upgrade over the minivan. May it rest in pieces. What an incredible story. Oh, you always say that, Santa. That's always true, though. So what about Allison here? I'm sure as the part of you have a deal like Amelia, you must have tons of stories of your own to share. Mm. Huh? Oh, uh... Your mom. Uh, you see, I, uh... Ah, ah, ah. Haven't been at this for very long, so I don't know if, uh... <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, so, oh no. Yeah, oh no, indeed. <laughs> what the fuck? I, what, what was the trash king? Did I miss that? Yeah, it was a yeah, giant was like bird a, who had trash. Sure. Yeah. yeah. The tr fucking trip lord, though, kind of looking dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Allison, what about the trash king? Oh, you met the king of all trash? Intriguing. Well, not quite. It was more like a really big bird. But all this trash, and it was uh, eating the trash. Uh, we pissed it off and had to fight it. Ah, so you fought a bird. It was a really big bird, to be fair. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> I don't know if I have the best stories. <laughs> no 
don't be on, too hard on yourself, Allison. <laughs> You're still new at this. <laughs> mm. The fucking band hit, man. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, I'm, I'm gonna get to it. Hold on. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> hey, I got one. Oh, good. I could tell the story of how Faith and I started dating, if that kind of thing worked. Love is an adventure in, its, in itself. That seems like a kind of personal story to be sharing with a stranger. No offense, Senna. Oh, no way. Me and Senna go way back. You do? When did you even meet? Last night. <laughs> <laughs> we really hit it off for the first time I stayed here. Ugh. Now let's see. Well, for starters, Claire and I are from Brightport. I needed a change of pace from the big city life after high school, so I moved to Green Ridge. A couple years later, I'd just gotten out of a relationship that, uh didn't quite work out. It was an amicable breakup, but any breakup's gonna be a bummer. I just tried to focus on my work as an apprentice blacksmith to get my mind off of things. And then, one day, this girl came in looking to commission some custom armor and a lance. Was the girl Faith? I'm getting to that part. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yes, it was Faith. She had her heart set on becoming the next guardian of Green Ridge, and she knew she needed a top-of-the-line gear for a job like that. I already kind of knew her since she'd been friends with Melody and Allison since they were kids. She's always busy. We hadn't had many chances to talk. We hashed out the details of what she wanted, and I could tell right away. She really had an eye for craftsmanship. She was passionate about the work. I, uh, I could also tell she kind of had an eye for me. Ooh, how scandalous. <laughs> I guess at that point, I wanted to impress her. So I really poured my heart and soul into I her mean, gear. I made it my that's... finest work. As I was working on it, she dropped by every day. She always said she was just there to check on my progress, but I knew she was too busy for that to be true. We chat while I work. It already felt like we'd known each other forever. And then, after I finally finished her gear, Faith knew she didn't have a good excuse to drop by anymore. So she just asked me out. And I guess the rest is history. That's gay. That was a wonderful story, Jody. I don't, I don't. Ah, to be young and in love. <laughs> Crying. I've just been thinking about Faith a lot the past couple of nights, I guess. I hope everything's okay back in Greenwich. Oh, we're here to make sure it's okay. Well, it's getting late. We should probably turn in for the night. I'm gonna be a lesbian. Later that evening. <laughs> God damn, we're gay! Hey, what are you looking at on your phone? Did our reception come back? Huh? Oh no, I was just checking out of habit. You okay, dear? You seem tense. Eh, don't worry about it. You got enough on your plate right now without worrying about my crap. Worrying about your crap is kind of my job. <laughs> uh oh, flustered. I'm just thinking about my mom, I guess. Aren't you happy to see her? You love your mom. She's your hero, isn't she? I know, I know. It's, it's just a lot of, to live up to sometimes. She's literally these people's savior. Meanwhile, I'm struggling to pay my rent and cast basic spells. Plus, like, I wanted to see her again on different terms. I want her to be proud of me. Your mom's always been proud of you, Allison. She could be prouder. <laughs> That's not funny. It's not funny. <clears throat> my, my life's kind of a mess right now. I don't want this to be the mental image she has of my adventuring career for the rest of her life. Mm. You know, sometimes I think about changing my last name just so fewer people compare me to her. Part of me wants to make a name for myself, instead of having to live up to that, you know? That's understandable, I suppose. It's just a thought, though. I don't know. I'm just rambling. You're always rambling, Allison. That's part of your charm. Uh, you know, as far as names go, Allison Ar Armanth Ar Armanth? Amaranth. Amaranth, thank you. Oh my god, bruh. 
Isn't that Allison weird? Amaranth. It doesn't sound too bad. The alliteration makes you sound like a superhero. Exactly. Hey, you ever wonder? I can't believe we're gay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm <laughs> <laughs> They're looking at each other. Gayingly. <laughs> Lesbianly. Maybe we should get some sleep before we launch into a 30 minute discussion of what we'd like to be as superheroes. Yeah, good call. Who knows what we'll be up against tomorrow. Thanks for being here for me though. They're cuddling! I don't mean to make you worry. That's gay! Like I said. Like, so gay. That's my job. Well, good night, babe. Love you. I love you too. Gay! <laughs> <laughs> Who did it? So fucking great, so I hate it. Was that you, Alatea? Yeah, yeah, that, that was you too. You yeah. two have the same yeah, fucking nice. brain cell, bro. No, 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 one of those was me, but I don't want to know who the other one, the other one was. It was definitely KJ. No, it was definitely me. KJ. That I did the job. Type uh, stinger. That was a KJ type stinger right there. <laughs> I hate that we thought the same exact thing, bro. Yeah. Okay. That's another undead. Uh, howdy, travelers. Name Stretch. We saw that little show you put on with that other cowboy earlier, you know. You did? Oh, that's just a little game my best buddy Squash and I like to play the pastime. A game that involves shooting each other? Yep. No worry, though. We only five blanks. Perfectly safe. Oh, okay. Their belt says kill. <laughs> Back to grinding, I guess. <laughs> Who did that? Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> oh, no! Oh my god, my ribcage. Oh my god. I lined up with the kiss. <laughs> oh, just substituted the kissy with the tootie. Stop! <laughs> Mm. That, that's you didn't have to do it. Listen, just because a couple thinks they're both a bunch of cutie patooties doesn't mean there has to be a patootie in it. Oh my god. Yeah, gonna stream. Holy but shit. I've never been it's angry been yet. Great. Bruh. <laughs> Listen with these perfectly timed sound bites, yeah. Oh my god. It's fine. Looks like something is supposed to fit in here. As much as I love the serious rooms, we probably have more pressing matters to attend to right now. This can wait. Yeah. Coward. Goodbye. Ooh. Allow me. Is this like back from where I came from before? I think it is. It is. Hell yeah, DJ, <laughs> play my theme song. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for you to get a multi frost off on this fight. Yo, that has actually what the fuck? You got the spaghetti arm fella and like four Tootsie Rolls? Hey now. What would you do for a Tootsie Roll Pop? I haven't had a Tootsie Roll Pop in like years, not gonna lie. I literally forgot that they existed. You forgot Tootsie Pops existed, but you drink Welch soda? Yeah, I don't have like a lot of sweetie things. I could never forget Welch's grape soda, but I don't go out of my way to get candy. If you keep forgetting about sweet things, how can you forget yourself? You're gay. <laughs> Even Joke though you're up. gay. You all watch all of these like monsters blow the fuck up real quick. Dead. 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 <laughs> uh, I haven't played Minecraft in a hot minute. Got Jokes on you, protection. my scarf keeps me protected from ice.
good choice. <laughs> it's wizard time, motherfucker! <laughs> Fireball! <laughs> <laughs> It's wizard time, motherfucker! Fireball! Fireball! Oh, uh, God. <sighs> Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love casting spells. <laughs> Don't give me another idea, please. I want to take every bit of the VOD of this entire playthrough and try to make a series out of it because this game is really fucking good. I've been enjoying the fuck out of it. I have been absolutely addicted to the game it only costs 40 to revive someone holy shit uh, i was expecting it to cost like 80 or something oh my god reviving someone is such a big deal i can't wait until like the next time i fight a bot and i get fucking absolutely crunked almost but i just love like in the south park one of truth the revive thing is just a taco there you go oh are. my god <laughs> Yeah, the place I was talking about, just past the spike pit. Positive, this is where Janice has been hiding. Positive, this place has Javis written all over it. I'll meet you up ahead. I think I know how to get you in. Wake up, Samurai. It's time to be gay. <laughs> hey, no cutting in line. This young lady is ahead of you. <laughs> you on the list? Are you on the list? Might be. Name's <laughs> Neff. Your boss tried to recruit me the other day. Wait, what? Hmm, <laughs> let's see here. Yep, there you are. Welcome, Miss Neff. Glad to see you're joining us after all. And hey, am I allowed to bring guests? My friends here want to join your cause, too. I'm crying. Wait, we don't... Just roll with it. Hmm, you know, they kind of look like those animal folks Lord Javis told us to keep an eye out for. Yeah, we get that all the time. Well, if they're with the mummy, I guess it's okay. You can head on inside. Bro, what the fuck? Wow, we're just... entering a Jay Revis's dungeon. Neon Labyrinth! <laughs> this has Javis written all over it. It's literally... It literally has Javis... <laughs> what the fuck? It, it literally has huh? Javis written Game. all over it. Yeah. Oh, also, this sounds like the Jellyfish rave music. It does.